students in our previous video we learned about exact differential equations now here we will learn about non exact differential equation now we will consider a differential equation m uh, m of x comma y dx plus n of x comma y dy equal to 0 let us mark this as equation 1 now we know that this equation is said to be exact if it satisfies this is said to be exact if we know that do m by do y is equal to do n by do x so if this condition is satisfied then equation 1 is said to be exact and the method of solving an exact e equation we have already seen in our previous videos now if suppose this condition is not satisfied that is if do m by do y is not equal to do n by do x then equation 1 is said to be non-exact so now how to solve a non-exact differential equation is what we are going to learn in this video so let us see that now in simple words to convert this uh, equation that is that is because equation 1 is non-exact first we have to convert this equation into an exact equation to convert this equation 1 to an exact equation we multiply this equation by a function u of x comma y now this function will convert this non-exact equation to an exact equation such a function is known as integrating factor so integrating factor so for uh, to solve a non-exact equation we have to first find an integrating factor and then we have to multiply this integrating factor to our given differential equation if we do so this non-exact exact equation will be converted into an exact equation and after converting it as an exact equation then we can solve it normally uh, as uh, we solve the exact differential equation now let us see the definition of an integrating factor so if the equation m of x comma y dx plus n of x comma y dy is not exact then we find a function u of x comma y which is nowhere zero such that if we multiply this u of x comma y with this equation that is u of x comma y m of x comma y dx plus u of x comma y n of x comma y dy the this equation will become an exact equation now such a function that is u of x comma y is called an integrating factor so this function u of x comma y is known as the integrating factor there are various rules to find this integrating factor so let us see uh, one by one the first rule for finding the integrating factor is if p is equal to 1 by n multiplied with dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x is a function of x alone so when we evaluate this and if it is a function of x alone then u equal to e power integral p dx will be an integrating factor in that case so we will be finding the integrating factor by using this where p is given by this so after finding u we can multiply this u with the given differential equation and convert it as an exact equation and then we can solve it if this rule is not satisfied then we will be evaluating q which is which is given by 1 by m dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y and if this is a function of y alone so it will be independent of x what does that mean function of y alone means when you evaluate this it will be independent of x there will be no term in x in that case u equal to e power integral q dx will be the integrating factor so in this case it will be independent of y in this case it will it will it will be independent of x so first we have to try this if this is not satisfied that is, that is if this is not uh, independent of y then we have to move on to this evaluating q and if these both the rules are not satisfied then we can move on to the next rule and the next rule is when 
mx plus ny is not equal to 0 and the given equation is an homogeneous equation what does what do you mean by homogeneous equation if the equation is equal to 0 that is the equation m dx plus n dy will be equal to 0 on the right so if it is so then it is a homogeneous equation so if if it is not zero then it is not not an homogeneous equation so if these two conditions are satisfied that is mx plus ny we have to evaluate and if that is not equal to zero and the given equation is a homogeneous equation then 1 by mx plus ny will be an integrating factor of the given equation similarly if this rule doesn't work then uh, we can evaluate mx minus ny and if that is not equal to 0 and the given equation is of this form that is it will be a function of xy multiplied with y dx plus a function of xy multiplied with x dy equal to 0 then 1 by mx minus ny will be an integrating factor so these are the four rules to find the integrating factor in our next video, we shall learn how to solve a non-exact equation by applying these rules and finding the integrating factor and then solving it. Hope you have understood what is an integrating factor and the rules for finding the integrating factor. Thank you.